forecast. You were outside earlier this afternoon. You probably felt the winds. They were a bit breezy at times, gusting up to 35 miles per hour. That's why we had such a swift warm up into the uh, low 80s this afternoon. We got to 81 degrees, 11 degrees above average. Well, the winds are shifting tomorrow behind this front and they're going to be breezy um, and that's going to bring some cooler numbers. So not expecting to get into the 80s and I think it's going to be a struggle to get into the 70s. Winds roughly 10 to 15 miles per hour, but gusting to 20 through your day as this cold front slides a little bit further to the south could see some serious uh, clouds out towards the west uh, in places like Hagerstown Deep Creek. But I think for the most part we're going to be looking at sunny skies and then high pressure will start to slide closer to our area as we head Thursday evening into Friday. And that's going to pretty much uh, ensue that we have sunny skies heading into Friday as well. Heading out the door tomorrow morning, the numbers will be very mild. We're talking mid 50s, but the afternoon warm up will not be as drastic as what we saw today. Struggling to get out of the upper 60s. I still think we get to 70 for an hour or two during the afternoon. Keep in mind the winds are going to be out of the northwest a little breezy for the day. Starting off your Friday with clear skies and the numbers are going to be a little bit cooler. We're talking about low to mid 40s in places like Westminster and Parkton. 49 in Bel Air will be near 55 at the harbor, so a milder start and the numbers will warm up a little bit more. I think it'll be easier to get into the 70s. Still, your lunchtime forecast is going to find you in the mid to upper 60s across most of the state of Maryland, warming into the low 70s as we head into the evening commute, keeping sunny skies in place. So that means you'll need the sunglasses not only for tomorrow, but as we head into your Friday. But I'm expecting some clouds to start to trickle in overnight Friday into your Saturday, and I'm thinking that we're going to see things uh, on the warm side for Saturday as southerly flow filters in. But the clouds will be our dominant feature here. Uh, there is some moisture that's going to be traveling closer to us, but I think those rain chances really do staple off until around Sunday. All of these showers that move in Sunday into Monday are going to be associated with the remnants of Delta, what is now Hurricane Delta, and that's going to linger through Monday and then we're watching a cold front and that's going to drop the temperatures just a little bit Monday and Tuesday. We'll start to see showers associated with that front. That's going to linger through Wednesday, but the big story in the country right now, the tropics. It has been a very active hurricane season right now. Hurricane Delta has winds sustained at 90 miles per hour, so that's a little bit of an uptick from earlier moving to the west northwest continuously at 17 miles per hour. So quite rapidly here still forecast to become a major hurricane over the next 24 to 36 hours and then start to curve off towards the north and east, making landfall as a category two hurricane and then starting to live closer to us and bringing us some rain Sunday into Monday.